Sorry. <laughs> <Why don't you laughs> <two? laughs> a while ago, I proved to you that 0 was equal to 1. And I did that by using an infinite series. I could have proven that 0 was equal to any number. I just chose 1. And once you prove 0 is equal to any number, you can add or subtract any number from both sides. You can prove any number is equal to any number. But today I'm going to prove by a different method that 1 equals 2. Believe it or not. So proof. Let, for example, A equals B. Whatever A is, B is the same number. Then multiply both sides by A. You get A squared equals AB. Then subtract B squared from both sides. All legal operations. Then you can factor both sides by a different method. Left hand side, difference of squares. So what do you get? A plus B. A plus B times A minus B. On the right hand side, you can factor by factoring a B. common factor, by factoring out B, and you get A minus B. A minus B. Now, which one I'm done before you say anything? At this point, I can divide both sides by A minus B. In other words, I can just cancel A minus B. So I get A plus B equals B. Yeah. But A is equal to B. So that's the same as b plus b equals b, because a is equal to b. Or 2b equals 1. 2b or not 2b, this is not 2b, here this is just b. Divide both sides by b, and you get 2 equals 1. QED, big fat check mark. Impossible. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what's wrong here? <laughs> 2 equals 1. Oh, she'll be quiet. <laughs> she knows. And I'll, I'll get him to give us the answer. Man. What's wrong here? If there's nothing wrong, this must be true. Oh. Ah, very logical. What if A and B equals to zero? Well, they, yeah, they, they, well, they're, but they, they could, but they're equal to anything. Hmm. Hmm. A cannot be equal to B. It is equal to B. I said Why so. Why shoot? Why? Magic, magic. Shoot! Because you cancel A minus B, you have to make sure A minus B is not zero. But you said A equals B, so A minus B is zero. All right, you're on the right so track, John. It. It's not that they can't be zero. They can be. They can't be the same number because if they're the same number, well, they can be the same number. But then if you you can't divide by A minus B, that's what I'm really doing when I cancel because A minus B equals zero. Oh. When you divide by zero, all sorts of weird things can happen. You can prove all sorts of interesting things when when you divide by zero. So don't divide by zero or you'll end up proving this. And then nothing in the universe will make sense. <laughs> Alright? Okay, there you have it. Thank you, Ben.